Hello, my name is Franz and today I'm going to show you the Diamond Project Manager from version 11. Here you see the interface of the Diamond Film Project Manager. The Project Manager is um, to organize your restoration work. From here you would bring in material which should be restored start your restoration work and at the end you would export it. When you're first time in uh, started your project manager you would automatically see uh, the automatic installed Diamond film tutorial. Um, the project manager is organized like this that you have a repository in the repository is organized into bins. You can by right click create new bins and as many as you want and any hierarchy you want. Let's create my tutorial. In order to import anything to a bin, uh, we have the import button on top. Click the import, then a file browser will open and you can navigate to any location on your file system and you can click on uh, image sequence, DPX, TIFF, uh, whatever or we can also import uh, MXF and QuickTime movies. Once selected hit open uh, it will ask you how you would like to name the sequence or if you just want to import a part of the sequence and so on. Importing will bring the clip into your repository. Um, once when you click on the clip, you would get on the right side the clip details. In the project manager, we have several ways to add commands. We can add a command to a bin, like here, bin command. We can add a command to a clip, this over here clip command and we can add commands also to generations. Um, we will come to this later. The generations commands would be on the right click here and edit command. Gen commands. Okay. So once a sequence is important, we can either start to work with it directly by double clicking, which would actually uh, open the restoration manager, which is the workbench for restoration, or we can go into to pre-process a clip um, with the batch renderer. So for pre-processing a clip, I would click the batch renderer and here you, we could select a cut detection or maybe a proxy generation if you are working with uh, high resolutions 4k plus or so and then you would send it to the render manager. The render manager in the background would then uh, render the, the shot detection or the proxies if you uh, would have run it. Once the sequence is rendered in the background or finished, we could, by double clicking, it would open the Restoration Manager Plus. In here, we would do the usual restoration tasks, which is not part of this tutorial. I just do a simple dust filter into it and render this. And I just rendered the first shot, but not the second shot that, that I can show you that we get um, the completion status of a clip into the project manager as well. So the rendering is finished and I will close the restoration manager again. You will see, notice here that uh, we get a status of 100%. The reason is that there was no, everything is rendered. Um, but if you have unrendered parts on the timeline, you would see it as unrendered.
and so then you would see another progress. Um, I mentioned before already the generations. So in Diamant, you can separate different restoration tasks in different timelines or layers. In Diamant, we call it generations. To add a new generation, you would click the Add button to create a new generation. So we have now an empty generation over here. Um, and you see when you click on this, we see we have a dust filter in there. On the original clip, we never have any restoration, of course. So what else can we do in the project manager? Well, we can backup and restore projects. To do so, we click on the top left icon, say create backup. You see what it will backup navigate to your backup folder and it su suggests a file name and I save and you get a backup finished feedback report. Later on you can uh, restore the backup of course and in the backup we have just the metadata of a project so they are quite small not the rendered data. Project Manager of Diamond version 11 allows to rename clips, so you can easily rename it. And it allows you to reorganize your project, so you can create like my sub bin for tutorial. And you can move easily a project to, a, to this folder. So, it is easy to reorganize um, your, your proje projects later on. When you have finished the restoration of your project at the end, you probably want to export it. So to export it, you would select your clip in the last generation. Uh, and in the last generation, you would hit the export files button and in the export, you would select which part of the sequence you want to export. Default is the full sequence. You can change the format. You can change it to QuickTime, MXF videos, or whatsoever. There are another, or there are other options which you can add in the export. But normally, you would do it in the same format as the input. Give it an export directory. Uh, export tutorial, hit the export button, and you will done. Thanks for listening to this quick tutorial about the new project manager in Diamond version 11. Thank you.